been kind of out of commission with a flu, uh, getting back on my feet. Uh, during that time, a package came from China, eBay, that I bought these from. Uh, they're very nice people, a uh, good company, and uh, these, this package, uh, are the eight, eight dissect switches in which uh, go in the um, box, uh, that fiberglass box that we put in uh, out at the satellite dishes. So. dish farm. And uh, these are the uh, dissect switches. I got the uh, metal strips to mount these and all tapped. And this is uh, a little footage of uh, down here in the pole barn. We're uh, tapping the holes in these strips that are going to hold the uh, switches for switching the uh, L and B. So we're doing this uh, all by hand. It's a tedious job. It's something that I want to do rather than use self-tapping screws. You gotta back the tap out a little bit every once in a while to clean out the metal that you're cutting out with the with the tap. Okay, well, another hole done. There. Now we can just how it goes. Now the threads are tapped in here so that we can put a machine screw in. And uh, where the sun is, the bright light is glaring here. So we've got a bunch of them done already. We've got a few more to do. Uh, there's nothing much holding me up anymore except uh, digging a trench from the box to the house. We got the trench and the cables, some of them ran to the cottage. Now I got to run a cable, a, a pipe to the house and some cables in that so I can put satellite receivers in the cottage and, and in the house. And uh, can't forget this ham shack. Uh, deciding on what we're going to do with what dishes are going to go where and we still have two or three more dishes to put in. I, I'm going to do a video on converting a satellite dish, a home satellite dish, to a free-to-air uh, dedicated uh, feed uh, satellite dish. I'm going to do a video on that shortly. Um, so uh, that's that. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next video.